I'm checking out my seedlings today and I am so excited. Look how big they are. Those are all the brassicas that we have started from seed and cool season crops. They have mostly all come up right now. This bit here is taking a little longer, but I can see that one seedling there has germinated and everyone else is looking really nice too. I'll give you an update on how everyone else is doing later in the next video, but I just wanted to show you guys how all of these veggies are doing. I've been actively working on my garden planning this week and I am super excited to get it done. I have been making some lists with the vegetable varieties that I want to grow and some printouts with the flowers that I plan to grow this year. So these are the ones I have already started actually, the cool season flowers, and those are the dahlias that we checked tubers. These are mostly the ones that survived. I will just give you a sneak peek because I do want to make a video. My next video will be showing you guys in detail what I'm planning to do. But here's what I have done so far. I even drew this huge map of the plot. It's hard to see now because it's all pencil, but I wanted to work with this together with you guys in a video in case you are planning your own gardens too. But today in this video, actually, I wanted to pop up in here real quick just to let you know about something exciting that is happening now in the middle of the winter. Greenstock, which is the company that makes the vertical planters that I always get a lot of questions about, is having a flash sale with their leaf planter. This one over here, that's the one that I actually grow my greens. If you guys have been following me for a while, if you've seen it, you've seen it on my garden tours, you've seen me harvesting and enjoying it. So I love this planter. I don't want to say it's my favorite. I also love my originals. But this one, because I have this right by my door, just I use it so much more because it's so easy for me to harvest. But let me give you some more details about the sale. I'll put some info in here too with the price and all of that. And you can still stack my code, Mars Garden, for an extra $10 off. So this is an affiliate link. I will receive a small commission if you purchase, but that greatly helps me here with the channel and also I only recommend things that I love if you guys have been seeing me gardening here for the past few years you know I love my green stocks and I love sharing the love too the cool thing about the leaf planter is that it has 42 pockets and you can also grow root vegetables in them mostly for me I had more success with beets and radishes that don't get so long but radishes especially they grow so fast they do well too I have already started the seeds for this is the those are the ones I just saw in the beginning of the video if you want to plant them early this would be a great time to I'll take advantage of the sale to get them at a discounted price. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything in the comment section down below. I have made a video with a review of those planters answering a lot of stuff and talking about my experience with them. I'll link it up so you can watch it next if you're curious. And I just got something in the mail that I want to share with you guys too. They sent me this little package last night and I want to share with you guys what's in here. First of all, how cute is this packaging with the lavender? <laughs> I love this. Let me open. Oh, it's the magazine. How nice. And there's a bag in here too? Wait a second. I think there's more. Oh, there's more things underneath. Seeds. <laughs> That's good. They probably fell. Oh, cool. That's actually really useful because I wanted to do... Those are going to be on my plan for the green stock this year. They sent me some bush beans. Yellow bush beans. Those little yellow wax ones. That taste really good. So, excited to plant that and add this to my garden plan. And some scotch bonnet look at that comes with the pepper look comes in this little container that's interesting this is the first time i see this from botanical interests very nice i'm going to grow there in the green stock too it's very cool and okay let me open this i feel also bad too <laughs> i love the sticker to open up these little nice scrub things it just looks so cute oh uh, there's also a nice painted you know, I really wish I did some sort of watercoloring. Look how beautiful this looks. I'd love to get into drawing and be able to do something like that one day. Anyway, so there's a little nice note. There's nice. And the magazine. That's really nice. Oh, look at this. Look how beautiful this planter looks. Tomatoes on the bottom. Hopefully you guys can see. And garlic or leeks. That's really cool. There's a bunch of tips in here. So I believe that the green stock. Oh, there's recipes. Oh, how cute. Pest control. That's very nice. Lots of info in here. Wow, that's really cool. Very nice. Anyway, I'll look at it with more care in a little bit. But I want to see what is this. Is that a cloth? Oh, it's so cute. It's just a little nice cloth. A tablecloth or something. Nice material. That's so nice. And it has a little recipe here for lavender lemonade. Help 
nice see it's so nice to work with family businesses small businesses and family companies because you really get to have this special special touch and have a relationship with them let me put this here on the side i also got something else in the mail which is my only seed order that I did for this season. Hopefully I can stay strong. This was $12, a free shipping from Baker Creek Seeds. And I wanted to actually buy a variety of pepper that I didn't have. I really wanted to have a nice sweet pepper. And it's something new that I haven't tasted yet, you know, tried it yet. So I have been hearing good things about this Corbachi pepper. And I saw someone growing a couple years ago. And they just look so pretty. They're very long and elongated. And I think that that would be a super cool look for the green stock. My free seed was the Merlot lettuce, which I already have a couple packs of. I also ordered some Coriopsis. I'm sorry, I'm probably pronouncing this not correct, but here is the name on the screen. Because last year I saw this. If you watch my wedding video, I ended up buying a couple extra flowers at the flower market. This was one of them that I saw and I loved it. It was so beautiful. I wanted to incorporate this in my garden this year too somewhere. And I also got some Monarda because I also want to incorporate some native plants. Coriopsis is native too. And one more nasturtium. I have a lot of nasturtium already, but look at this color. I mean, I just, I couldn't resist when I saw it. So I decided to buy it. I love growing nasturtiums for many reasons. The first one is that it's edible and I actually enjoy the taste of it. I also love the leaf shape. It's a round leaves. I usually grow nasturtiums on my green stock too. But this is what I got from Baker Creek. Hopefully that will be my only order for the year. It's good that I'm already doing my garden planning this early because it'll hold me to sort of try to stick to the plan. My plan is to put this paper here, the garden plan here, and then try to stick to it until the spring. I usually tend to plan by this time of the year because I don't really like the winter. So what kind of helps me go through is to plan the garden. But I usually don't stick to my plan. I mean, I understand that things change. And, you know, as you're learning and observing things, the plan keeps evolving. And I know that's definitely going to happen this year too. But I don't want it to happen as much. I wanted to really try to think this through. Now that I have more experience growing in this area, I really want to try to use what I've learned and try to stick to a plan that you will be able to help me reaching my goals. I do have a goal section here on my garden plan too. So that's what I've been working on. And I have gone through all of my seeds already. I did a little bit of a seed inventory. I didn't film a video about it because I'm not sure if you guys really want to see all the seeds that I currently own, but I picked all the varieties that I want to grow this year, as I said, and it's all here on this paper. So I'm going to keep working on that. Hopefully be able to film a video either today or tomorrow for you guys with a detailed garden plan. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you next time.